few years ago, our youth department had a back to school uh, rally entitled, Who You're Rolling With? And the purpose of that program was to remind our children that when they went back to school, they were still a child of God. No matter what they see here around them, we want them to remember who you're rolling with. Going to school doesn't stop you from being a Christian. Sitting in the cafeteria yakking with your friends doesn't stop you from being a Christian. Playing on the sports teams and being involved in the various activities does not stop you from being a Christian. So before they went back to school, we wanted to remind them exactly who they were rolling with. We wanted them to keep it 100 every single day. Amen? Amen. And every day we face challenges in our walk with Christ. Those challenges are called circumstances. And the goal of this spiritual battle is to not allow circumstances or the enemy to get us to switch sides. Remember who you're rolling with. See, I have peace of mind now when I think of why the old folks sing the song like all night, all day. The angels keep watching over me. I didn't understand that song. I just thought it meant when I went to sleep at night, the angels were watching over me. But the more I matured in the word, I realized that all night and all day, the angels keep watching over me because 24 hours a day, the enemy is trying to get into my head. 24 hours a day, we, we run the risk of suffering and a, a spiritual attack from the enemy. And so God has displaced angels to watch over us all night while we're sleeping. While our guards, our spiritual guards are down a little bit, there's an angel that can arrest some of those negative thoughts that come through our dreams. And if you all had some crazy dreams and you wonder, man, what am I thinking about this kind of stuff? But where did that come from? Well, just imagine if you had that kind of dream or that kind of experience over and over again in your head. That will seem to become real. Yeah, and if you don't have the word of God inside of you to bring truth and try those thoughts, the Bible says, test the spirits and try them. And then you will know if that thought is of God or if it's of the devil. And that's why we encourage you to come to Sunday school and to Bible study so that you can be spiritually armed. Because all day and all night, the enemy is trying to get you to switch sides. But you need to know every day that you wake up, you need to know who you're rolling with. And because of that, before you ever take one step, you need to make sure that you reaffirm your commitment to God. Yeah, before you get to preparing yourself for the day, you need to wake up and talk to God. Have a right now moment. As soon as you roll over, you need to roll over into pray. Can I get a witness? You need to pray to Jesus and tell him when you get up in the morning, Jesus, I'm still committed to you. Regardless of what the day has in store for me, those things I know and those things I don't know, I'm still committed. I'm still rolling with you. Jesus, if situations come against me and I abandon those kingdom principles that you taught me, bring me back. If I receive bad news, keep me hopeful because I'm still rolling with you. If I see or hear something wrong, cover my heart to control those negative thoughts. If, if something happens that I can't handle, show yourself mighty in my weakness. So I may remain faithful to you and through you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I'm rolling with you today. Let them know right up front. So as you face 
you at different challenges, you've already got those angels that are spiritually armed to do battle against those enemies that you see and those that you don't see. Amen. And so if we are stepping in the name of Jesus and we reaffirm our commitment to him to take a step denotes movement. And in this case, stepping means walking. Which means I'm headed in a certain direction, physically or spiritually. 